The bridge is 45 metres long, 70 tonnes. To lift that into place and, and to get it dimensionally right where it's needed is, is quite a tricky task. So we want to be confident that when we bring our 600 ton crane to site, we're setting it up in the correct configuration and that when it is in place, it's going to look really good. So our engineers and surveyors go through and do checks and double checks to make sure we're ready to go. It is quite a tight location. We've got around 20 millimetres clearance between the other structures and, and the main bridge. And the structure is actually quite flexible. And so when we lift that steel structure, it's going to take the load and find its natural shape. And so we need to take that into account when we're lifting it and, and calculating where it's going to land. The bridge was too big to bring to site in one piece and building it here in the car park allowed us to really reduce the impact on the passengers and the train services, building as much as we can offline, getting ready for the major occupation where we can lift it in place. Both the overpass and the uh, feature canopies have had a lot of local uh, contractors on board. By the time the overpass and the stations are complete, you know, a large part of that is going to be built by local people from Geelong which is really cool. When we lift that up into place, you know, you'll see that come alive and um, that'll really be a cool feature for the skyline of South Geelong.